Good evening. What we have here is our bumper pool BOP test pump model. And this particular unit here is equipped with a 2 and 5 16 ball hitch with a heavy duty jack with a 225 gallon uh, reservoir tank. The engine here is a four cylinder uh, 100 horsepower engine uh, along with the twin dish, two plate uh, clutch. And we have also here a triplex pump that's uh, 100 horsepower, three inch stroke that's given us 8.6 gallons per minute at 15,000 PSI. Now the, the unique thing about this particular arrangement is this this is what we call our bumper pull BOP and frack valve test pump. Now let me show you how this thing works. We have all the controls mounted at the rear of the unit which gives the operator a single point of control. And right here with this particular unit is we have the engine started and control panel in which we fire off the engine right here. And once we fire the engine off right there, we can put the unit into gear from the rear. And once the pump gets into gear, it's actually running and it's in a bypass mode until this handle is engaged. And this is what we call our 15,000 PSI pressure control valve. And the pressure control valve body is, has two parts. It has a bypass side and it also has a check side and a check and bleed side, okay? We have our check valve system coming from the discharge side of the pump, okay, which we have two lines that's coming up to the central control, to the membrane right here. We also have equipped with this unit, which we call a high pressure shutdown gauge to shut the unit down in the case of overpressure. It's equipped with two 50 foot sections of hose, which give you a total of 100 foot length out to test. Right here, during the operation method of it, is that we fire this engine off, and we crank it up, and we run the RPMs, and we're able to bump up the pressure this way, which gives the operator complete control. We have some added features with this particular unit, which um, in BOP and frack valve testing, uh, we have a great deal of sand, water, uh, debris, that's coming back from the well. And we have a micron filter assembly to protect us from the material entering into the valve box. Okay. Also, here, in what we have is what we call a strobe light and a work lamp. And what this does is give the operator light in the middle of the night, and it also warns everyone in the vicinity that we're getting ready to come up to pressure. This particular system is equipped with what we call a chart recorder. Okay, and this chart recorder here allows you to pull a single chart on the system. All of our chart recorders are equipped with extra pins, battery, and also extra chart paper with calibration certificates inside. It is a sealed chart recorder to keep moisture out, and it sits in place. Chart recorder is equipped with a line that's coming from the rear of the control panel with the valve that you can either turn it on yeah, or off. Cool. We have an enclosed battery box, so the battery is not exposed. This is a 4D uh, 800 cranking amps battery that's inside of this enclosed battery box, as you may see. We have a 30 gallon fuel tank, 30 gallon cylindrical fuel tank with a fuel dial gauge. We also have a sight level gauge on a 225 gallon reservoir so you can see at what levels your fluid is. We have a valve to shut off from the tank and we have a valve also for draining of the tank. And all of this is coming back this way. All the way back, we have the bypass, which is the bleed line. This is the bleed. We have a double valve, needle valve on the bleed side, and this would allow you just a redundancy to remove one up from the seat and then one to bleed. So this will be your throwaway valve. And we also have bypasses coming from there. We have an auxiliary booster pump that's driven 
from the triplex down to this point and it's driven by shivs and belts and it actually supplies the fluid from the reservoir tank to the triplex.